All right, my friend, welcome back again. My name is Dr. Anthony Balduzzi. I'm the founder here at The Fit Father Project. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to combine cardio and strength training for weight loss. This is a hugely important video and a topic we're really passionate about here at The Fit Father Project. And the philosophies and the strategies I'm gonna teach you in this video are largely how we've helped over 10,000 fathers lose over 75,000 pounds of fat. And here's some of the guys that we've helped lose weight. So we know a thing or two about the right kinds of training plans. And when it comes to your results, you know how to combine the two types of training for the best results possible. So we're gonna cover all that in this video. You're gonna learn some simple, actionable strategies to implement into your routine this week to see weight loss results. I know you're gonna learn a ton. Get out your pen and paper, take some notes, and let's dive on in. Fitfatherproject.com All right, so when it comes to weight loss, we know that we need to do both cardio and strength training, but let's look at why. Well, cardio is good because cardio can help you burn calories, and there are two main types of cardio that we're gonna be looking at. Steady state cardio, meaning you hop on the treadmill, the elliptical, or you go for a walk, and you're going at a steady pace. And then there's interval training cardio, where you're doing burst of really fast, and then recover slower. Burst, recover, burst, recover. And so these are in the cardio realm, um, but they're pretty different, right? One is like you're jogging for 45 minutes, and one it might be a 20 minute kind of like bursting, sprinting on a rowing machine, and then kind of re resting, relaxing. So that's the cardio. I um, mean, they have different effects because when we're talking about combining those types of cardios with strength training, um, the high intensity interval training is very taxing on your muscles, not just on your cardiovascular system, whereas the steady state cardio is not as taxing on your muscles. So when we look at combining, we need to know what kinds of cardio are you doing and what kind of strength training you're doing. So we have the cardio thing, big picture covered with strength training, we want to know how frequently you're strength training. Um, are your workouts full body? Are you splitting up um, a very particular body part? Because there's a big difference between if you're just doing arm day, then you certainly may be able to do a high intensity interval training workout the next day. But if you're doing big compound exercises and full body workouts, uh, it's really going to make it hard for you to do a high intensity interval training workout the day after you did some squats. So we need to look at the big picture. And what we're going to do from here on out without knowing your specific schedule is to give you our blanket recommendations um, for what we feel is the most effective approach. And the way to think about this is first off, when it comes to weight loss, um, strength training plus sleep and nutrition are the foundation. You do not need to do cardio to lose weight. Let me repeat this, you do not need to do cardio to lose weight. It can help you, um, but diet and a proper eating plan plus strength training is the foundation, much more effective. And so what we wanna do is essentially set up two to three strength training workouts per week spaced out throughout the week. And we like to do strength training workouts in such a way uh, that we call metabolic resistance training, where you're picking the best strength training exercises, but you're doing them in a circuit with low rest. And here is a picture of a metabolic resistance training workout. And we have an exact video called metabolic resistance training. We'll link below in the description. Um, it's the number one video on MRT here on YouTube. So you can check that out as well. I'll cover a full workout, but we wanna do MRT workouts, strength training um, with low rest three times per week. We might space that out on like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Why? Because after we do these heavy strength training workouts that are good for our metabolism, we get a boost to our metabolism for up to 24 to 48 hours. So if we do a workout on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, your metabolism is constantly elevated. So we know we're burning more calories and you're building the muscle that's gonna help you lose more weight and keep it off. Because when you build more muscle, your metabolic rate automatically increases at baseline really good. So we get those workouts scheduled in with the strength training um, and then we sprinkle in the cardio to help you recover and keep you moving. And so what it ultimately ends up looking like is you might do a Monday, Wednesday, Friday strength training and on Tuesday and Thursday, you might do some steady state cardio. Why steady state? Because we don't want to overly tax your system. You're recovering from the strength training workouts. So doing something like um, lower intensity cardio is great for recovery. And so spending 30 to 45 minutes doing some cardio while listening to an audiobook would be amazing for active recovery from your strength training workouts and to burn some calories. So that's a good starting point. So that's like four times per week. If you really wanted to up the ante and get better results, I'd sprinkle in one high intensity interval training session throughout the week. So it might look like Monday, Wednesday, Friday strength training, Tuesday and Thursday cardio, and on the weekends, one of those days, you can do a 20, 30 minute high intensity interval training workout. So we have members on our FitFollow30X program our 30 day program for fathers who do essentially that. They work up to week four in the program. At that point, they're doing three strength training workouts. Um, they're doing one to two low intensity cardio days and one high intensity interval training day. And that's 
pretty much the maximum exercise you need for weight loss. And quite frankly, you could lose weight exercising only two times per week with the proper diet and the sleep, but that's how I would personally combine it. But look, hey, if you're not a fan of strength training, we can flip-flop the ratios. And we can say, hey, why don't you do some full body strength training twice per week on Monday and Friday? Um, because it's maybe not your favorite thing, but we know it's beneficial for weight loss and improving your composition. And then the other days, we can sprinkle in maybe two high intensity interval training cardio days and one low intensity. So we can play with the ratios, but I like to make sure that you have um, at least both elements covered in the plan. So is strength training primarily focused? If that's the kind of plan you want to go for, then three strength training days, two low intensity cardio days, one high intensity, work up to that routine. But if you need to start, even starting off with two strength training days, one low intensity for three workouts per week is great. If you're more of a cardio person, you're not as much about lifting, then lift one to two times per week full body training. And we have some workouts, a great free uh, 35 minute full body workout. You can, it's on YouTube, it's amazing. You can check the links below. That's something you could check out. And then you do two or three cardio days throughout the week. And so aim for three to five workouts per week. But do know this, Workouts aside, if your goal is weight loss, it starts in the kitchen and a healthy eating plan is the number one thing you can do. So we have a free one day weight loss meal plan for busy fathers. Over 100,000 guys have downloaded and used this plan and I'd love to give it to you. So if you click the links below in this video, um, we can actually send that straight to your email and I'll be on video covering exactly what you should be eating for breakfast, lunch, snack, and dinner to lose weight. So that's something definitely to check out as well. And we also have our free 24 minute metabolism boosting workout. So if you wanna get started on these um, three workouts spaced throughout this week, this metabolic resistance training. We have that free video on YouTube and we actually have that full workout routine, this 24 minute metabolism booster that we can email to you as well. There's links below. So I hope these give you the big picture. There's a lot of variables in terms of your recovery, what types of workouts you're doing. So I can't give you a specific advice without knowing your exact routine, but I think this will give you a big picture of what to think about when crafting your routine. And above all, know when it comes to weight loss, the priorities are getting your sleep in check, getting your uh, eating plan in check, and then we'll look at the workouts. So if you don't have these foundations in check, as we say here at the Fit Follower Project, you cannot out-exercise a bad diet. But this is how you combine strength and cardio once you have the diet in place. So check out that free meal plan. I hope you found this video valuable, my friend. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up, let us know. Drop us a comment below. If you learned something useful, if you have some questions you want answered, we are here to help you. And of course, our free resources that we'll email to you will be the best way to dive deeper with us. If you like what we have to say here at the FFP and you want to come deeper and actually see some real results this week. And above all, subscribe to our channel. We have hundreds of videos already published on the best workouts for weight loss and muscle building, the kind of supplements you should be taking, the best eating plan, how to get and stay motivated. We have all of it on the channel. We have hundreds of videos already published. You can check those out. We'd love to see you around the channel and I'll talk to you very soon, my friend.